All right, guys, welcome to uh, mystery number one. First of all, though, I want to make sure that I wish RK Malcolm happy birthday today because it is April 26th and his birthday was yesterday. And uh, we just wish RK a nice happy birthday. Today's mystery has to do with uh, the uh, um, cascade between the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and thyroid gland. The hypothalamus, when necessary, will release a hormone called thyroid releasing hormone. That stimulates the pituitary gland to release TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, and that will stimulate the thyroid to release thyroxin, which is also known as T3 or T4. Okay, and this will speed up your metabolism and, and generally make everything work faster in your body. All right, so um, that's how these things work. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a mystery situation where basically you guys have to tell me, probably through email, which hormone was given to each rat in this mystery, okay? And the, the hormones will either be thyroid releasing hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, and thyroxin. You're gonna do this by basically comparing certain rats to what a normal rat, there's a normal rat, this is our control rat. Um, and so normal rats typically weigh 285 grams. Their pituitary glands are about 12 milligrams. Their thyroid gland is 250 milligrams. Their thymus gland, okay, usually is about 200 milligrams. The adrenal glands weigh 40, and the testes weigh 200, 2,900 milligrams in males anyway. So this is a normal rat. Now what you guys are going to do is you're gonna be given autopsies of three rats, okay? Here are the three rats. There's rat A, there's rat B, and of course there's rat C somewhere around here on my papers. Yeah. So here's rat C. Now, all three rats ended up dying looking like this, okay? All three rats lost tons of weight, okay? They were, it's a very catabolic pathway, and so basically when you have lots of thyroxin in your body, you lose weight, you burn calories really fast, okay? Now, your job is to look at these three autopsies on rat A, rat B, and rat C, okay? to compare them back to control and tell me which hormone they were given, whether it was thyroid releasing hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, or thyroid hormone itself, okay? Notice in all three cases, they lost weight, okay? But in all three cases, different things happened to the pituitary gland and thyroid gland. I'm gonna give you a little hint, okay? Even though I'm including the adrenal gland and the thymus gland on the data and the testes, this pathway has nothing to do with the thymus, adrenal, or testes. So you can just disregard those numbers. They basically just stay the same, all right? They might differ a little bit just because A, B, and C are not the same individual, but um, this pathway only affects the thyroid and the pituitary gland. Notice in, um, in person A or in mouse A, basically, or rat A, his pituitary shrank, okay? And his thyroid gland, normally 250 milligrams, dropped down to 140 milligrams, okay? And in, in rat B, the pituitary grew from 12 to 16, so that's, that's an increase. And its thyroid gland also grew from a normal 250 milligrams to 300 milligrams. That's quite an increase, okay? And the same thyroid increase we see in, in C, meaning the thyroid grew, but the pituitary shrank quite a bit, four milligrams, all right? So here's how you learn how to solve these problems, okay? Number one, okay, you always compare back to the normal. So I'm not gonna compare rat A and rat B. I'm not gonna compare rat A and rat C. I'm always gonna compare rat A to the control, to the normal rat, okay? To the rat whose numbers were right here and you might wanna pause and write those down. Now, that's step one, okay? Step two, okay, after looking at the overall weight, because we're in a catabolic cascade and they all lose weight, okay? Um, first remember the differences between glands have to be greater than 10%. So if you see something like nine to 12, Okay, that's a 25% difference, so that's significant. But if you see a difference between like 2,900 and 2,850, that's less than 3%, that's not significant, ignore that. Okay, now, now you need to look at 
the pathway again. Hopefully you've written the pathway down. If not, go back and do that. Okay. Releasing hormones will always increase the size of the pituitary gland and increase the size of the main gland. It will cause what we know as hypertrophy in both glands. Okay. So if you see compared to the control that both the pituitary grew and the thyroid gland grew, then it is definitely thyroid releasing hormone. Okay. All right. Fourth thing, if that didn't happen, okay, stimulating hormones will basically cause the pituitary to shrink and the main gland to increase in size. So it causes pituitary atrophy and main gland hypertrophy, meaning that if we gave a, um, a rat, uh, excuse me, let my hands work here, TSH, TSH will feed back and shrink the pituitary but it will grow the thyroid gland. It will make it grow, all right? And lastly, if you don't see that happening, okay, look at the thyroid and look at the pituitary. If they both shrink or experience what we know as atrophy, then thyroxine is the culprit again, okay? So we're looking at rats A, B, and C. We're looking at their data. Look at those numbers, okay? And compare them to the control data, okay? And then come up with your answers. That's mystery number one worth 15 points.